Hi there, Collective. I felt like being pulled to do another Collective reading for your day or for your night now, right? So, um, let's, get, let's get into this message. <laughs> we'll see if it relates to what I was thinking before this. So, lighting some Palo Santo, asking that your spirit team join us. Okay, I guess I should share the message that I'm getting. It's like you are waking up, awakening to a situation or a circumstance where you're like, what the hell? Where am I? Am I in another state? Why am I in this state? Like, you could be somewhere different and you've been there for maybe years <laughs> and are waking up. Now, maybe it's like a state of mind where you're waking up to something like, why have I been like that for this long? Oh, I don't know. What the, f it's a what the fuck feeling. <laughs> why probably because you're meant for more why would that come out so <laughs> with this group that's attracted to that message there's big changes obviously you see your worth in gold you see your worth in gold and it's like what the hell I'm not this but here I am <laughs> oh. okay so, let's see, let's see, for the collective drawn to this reading, it might be a funny title, um, yeah, so something's coming, coming to life in you, it's the same kind of premise of this energy is about to start flowing and you're going to feel like you're really alive and that's going to make you question why you're in certain situations or around certain people or an environment or even a different state or country that you're like what the fuck am i doing why am i here like <laughs> because there's going to be a surge of uh the reddening the blood flow to a part that you didn't even know was alive because there was no blood flow but now there is and now that part of you needs to have a different experience somewhere different that's the message i'm getting and it's raining here it started raining a little bit more too this reading 10. you're seeing signs and synchronicities there's the aura boro this is probably like the kundalini energy but you don't have to call it anything you can just say it represents here this maybe an acknowledge because you know the serpent can not only represent power and energy, but the knowledge, right? So the knowledge of this part of you that has been asleep, cut off to vitality, or didn't even realize it was there to be used. You're having signs and synchronicities that it's time to, the 10 is saying like, let's bend on a divine detour here now that you're on board and aware of a part of you that's alive that is like it's triggering you to say what the to everything okay and that's that's what i get with the 10 is that because it's about bending being adaptable but in this you put, you possibly are seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities that there's going to be changes and new cycles taking place if anything like 10 completion because of this new thing you know, you're in, wow, and then this is how it feel, felt for a while. Maybe you were really in, inside, inside yourself, um, stagnant, but not knowing that things were going on. But um, there's something about results here coming to fruition in the form of some massive energy expansion. <sighs> wow. This tree is going to be thought out no matter what. It has a flame lit under it. It is the calcification card that every everything that you don't need was being burned off. <clears throat> Funny enough, in this winter energy. And you know what? I just read the first book of uh, Enoch because I like reading. I've, I'm sure I've read it before, but I just wanted to read it again. I finished that today, and there was um, a place in his vision, well, it was actually quite real to him, to Enoch, to say that this is what happened to me, this is where I went, and there was one realm where there was fire, there was hot as fire and cold, 
as ice present in the air at the same time. So that's really interesting that I'm seeing this after reading that. And it's no coincidence, right? The synchronicity card means that things are lining up as they're lining up for me. My success is your success and I feel the awakening in me for something. I feel it in you for something. Okay, so interesting to see what is um, what is going to bloom, what is going to be thawed out. Mercury, communication, travel. This is a burning desire. By the way, I could, should have said that I'm going to leave it there actually. A burning desire. It's for love, luxuries, and pleasures that you know you're supposed to deserve here on earth while you're here. You know, some people look at this place as a prison. I can see how they would get that, especially reading this Enoch um, story. It makes me kind of wonder, you know, if a punishment for a fallen angel was to be trapped on earth, then what are we doing here? <laughs> you're, you are there now <laughs> forever. They're just there for a little while. So there can be a tendency to be like, there's a lot of repression, especially of energy here. There's all kinds of ways that people and things siphon off of it. There's fear viruses going around. But here I see the copper, the actual, like no matter how you view it, you can still, you're still here to inherit the land, to inherit it all. And so I'm sorry for all those references. <laughs> Not necessarily, it's just that's what I read today. Um, Pleasure, love, adoration, Venus, Aphrodite, they're all yours. They're all yours to enjoy. You're supposed to enjoy yourself. You're supposed to enjoy yourself. This is going to give you, if you don't already, because of course you've always been working on yourself. I'm sure of it. But um, this row is kind of suggesting to me, I don't know, the on, oncoming of something different, like an energy that's a little different. On board, spiritually, spiritual growth. I was going to word it different, and then the words lost me. That's strange. I don't usually get a lot. I'm not usually at a loss for words. But maybe that's what this is, is that there's you will be a, a loss for words because... There's something that is uh, to be given to you. Pleasures, love, in the form of that. The peacock's tail is you're looking really good. Oh, yes, I know. I know what I was going to say. I'm sorry. Um, I was going to say it's about the oncoming of spiritual growth that um, allows you to be spiritually free kind of just before you are completely materially free this is that's what's happening spiritually you're freeing yourself to the point where it's definitely going to be reflecting on earthly pleasures and love and the material realm spiritually free first materially free then um the peacock's tail yeah, your colors are shining brightly. You're looking really good. You may do something with, with communications, in communications, with your voice. The way that you communicate is very important with that. Maybe communicating about your experiences, being in a dark, hibernative um, energy. What's that? What's that one? Oh, yeah, okay. So the death and the rebirth cycle are not surprises to you. They're not anything new. You know this. You know this man, <laughs> right? <clears throat> so you know that you, yeah. Okay, let me just keep going. Wasn't what you were expecting? Maybe you weren't expecting to shine so bright, to glow so bright, 
to be noticed for all this spiritual growth that you've done, but you are being noticed. The wealthy man, this can bring wealth to you. This can bring the actions taken towards wealth that are going to be successful for you. The burning desire, the passion, the Aphrodite, the love, and then the change card. I could see change coming in for you. Maybe even moving, you know what I mean? Because you have everything in this change card. You have a a buggy, an electric vehicle. Not it wasn't a vehicle back then. I wouldn't call that, right? It looks like an electric buggy or something. <laughs> I don't know. And they had those a long time ago too, right? I don't know. I think they did. I think they did. <clears throat> Okay, so things are being moved. Change. Going toward, it's a bridge towards your desire and your passion. Thawing out the ice queen or king's heart. <laughs> Unexpected journey coming up. Courthouse and courtship. Somebody wants to make something official rather quick with you. You don't see this journey coming. This is interesting. But you feel this energy, right? You feel this energy, so you know it's something. You know it's something. <laughs> Sudden wealth, too. And, the, and look, I mean, this is like um, whatever it is that you shine brightly for. <laughs> Be adaptable at this time. Because you're being spiritually, divinely detoured towards wealth for yourself. Yes, it was a lot of work like to get to a certain point. But there was something that had to be awoke in you, within you. And now, somebody wants to make something kind of official. Share the pleasure. Sharing pleasure. Sharing love. Sharing pleasure message of concern venus might be important as far as a planet <laughs> of course it's important it's important it's important anyway but and the main female which wanted to come out with the expectation in reverse wasn't what you were expecting either you, you could resonate with either one of those energies there's the marriage card i was right when i read it like that yep so it's going to be a short reading. This is not something really long and drawn out. It was actually supposed to be, it was rather humorous to me when I was thinking of it. <laughs> so you're still in the forest, all right? Yeah, you're still in the forest. That's nice. You're still in the forest. You know that there's always this feeling of not knowing exactly what path you're taking. But... Because of you, others can see you doing the same thing and shining so bright and glowing so bright and being so multi-talented, able to see a big perspective. Even when you're in that small place feeling lost in the forest, you're still radiating this energy from you. You're still projecting it so strong that you're giving other people hope, the ones that haven't found their colors yet, that they are going to find their colors, that they will shine um, and show others that your very own pathway can be done shining, even in the dark spots. Ooh. Oh. Yes. So this main female is like, they're really pulling out Empress energy with it. Channel your knowledge. Because it's laying on top of this, and it's the birth of creation. Six. Uh, the lover's energy. It's love, harmony, peace. The birth of creation, potential growth. So whatever it is that you're creating with this Empress energy, this could be the energy that you're in, that you're that you're creating from, right? You can take this very literally and figuratively or metaphorically. You've got light codes coming to you, crown chakras activated, third eyes activated, and travel awaits you with the change. And it's a 24, so that would be a multiple of 6-2. Four times building instability. 
travel awaits you. These things are things that await you. You have an unexpected journey here. Somehow you're a galactic healer. I don't know if you're a channel, if you channel things, how you channel. And we're always channeling things all the time. But I'm talking about somebody that would be on stage for channeling um, with a microphone or with whatever it is, writing maybe. But channel your knowledge, that is something that is part of your journey, your unexpected journey. And because whatever transmissions you have are going to be very healing to people. You see all these energies. It's still, I get a lot of frequency, vibration, and transmission. But I have a lot of lofty, airy feeling. Like you put um, other energies into a sense of peace or calmness. Like they're in the clouds with you. You're the galactic healer. Open your intuition and seek clarification for probably because you're getting so many signs and synchronicities at this time. Oh, nice. You can also ask, this is the third eye vision, reclaim your mind. Yeah, imagination is so wonderful. Um, maybe you could ask that whatever you visualize for yourself through your third eye, whatever you use out of imagination or you think it's just creativity, you know, but it's, it's possibly coming, probably coming from your oversoul or some other spirit guide or something. Ultimately that is you that's giving yourself information in like a, um, interesting ethereal way here, spiritual way. It is about, it says reclaim your mind. That's like the, um, spirit being spiritually free. You can ask for clarification on what you're getting in your visions to say, hey, show me signs or synchronicities that what I think or dream up is coming true or is real. And you'll get it. And you will get it. Okay, so the closing out cards. If you'd like a private reading, guys, I do offer those. Those are $24. They're not much. And you can get it in the description box below. Just really quick. Like, subscribe if you did like it. And come back. Stop raining. But yeah, the mercury and the, the channeling or your information. Yeah, say, so it's connection with the Ascended Masters that you have. I don't know which ones. It could be many different ones. 33. It could be some we don't have a written name down for. And maybe they would just reveal the name to only you specifically so maybe you're meant to channel that a new information a new name the master teacher ruling planet neptune it's something just so um like this cloudy mysterious but a prayer answer that's why it's a divine detour i have five the free spirit here to embody right now at this time the life path number five ruling planet mercury mercury yes it has everything to do with that so look that up too as well as master number 33 i would say i have augur spiritual master seer predictions visionary it's nice number nine number three philanthropy it's a double amount of empress energy two three two three Two, three, two, three. A new adventure. And four, four, four. It's on the bottom. And 16. But this is like still in process. Some type of change in transformation affecting your perception that ultimately is going to, it's changing your whole world. So beautiful number. My favorite here. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. It's got a few favorite numbers. 444. Trust your journey and trust the way your life unfolds. Trust that you're where you need to be at the present moment. I am protected is what I've got for you guys. I'm sending you love. Thanks for joining me. Bye.